Did you guys know portable monitors are starting to become a real big trend again? I mean, you've got portable monitors for the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S, and then there are ones that work with the Nintendo Switch. I mean, they all are pretty much universal. And since we're getting to a point where people are traveling a lot more often, a lot of times they want to bring a portable monitor to use with their different devices, especially for devices like the Steam Deck. And while I've reviewed several portable monitors on this channel, this is by far the best one here. And this is the Acer Spatula Labs View. This is a brand new monitor that is not only portable, but it's also 4K, gives you 60 frames per second, and it's got 3D built into it. And I'm not talking about like the cheap 3D that we've experienced before on like previous 3D TVs and 3D monitors and the such. I'm talking about true immersive 3D. Like there's no experience like this right here. In this video, we're gonna be diving into that and so much more. So let's go ahead and get into it. Before we kick this video off, I'm gonna give a huge mahalo to Acer for sending over the Acer Spatula View. This is such an amazing monitor. Like really, I'm blown away with it because I don't think I've ever experienced 3D like this before. And I think the biggest, closest example I can give to like something similar is the 3D effect on the Nintendo 3DS. But even that is primitive in comparison to this. Like I played some games on this, God of War, Doom Eternal, and like, the immersiveness of it is like it's one of those things you gotta experience to understand it and, and thus i'm getting ahead of myself but anyways uh again thank you to acer for sending this over for review so before we dive into the review of this make sure you if you enjoy the content that i put out like the video sub to the channel if you haven't already and the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel all that being said let's go ahead and get into why this monitor is absolutely fantastic okay so the first thing i want to talk about is the dimensions of this monitor this thing is ultra slim like look at how thin this is this monitor is so amazingly thin and if you're seeing this area right here this is basically where your power so on this side you've got your sd card slot you've also got your power button as well as your menu toggle which goes up and down and it's also depressible and then on the other side here you've got a usb power input you've also got an hdmi port you got a usb 3.0 port and you've got a headphone jack as well what's interesting is you can charge this up and as you can see it's powered on and i don't have anything connected to it and it's already connected so if i want to like connect my steam deck or any of my consoles to it i can just plug it in and go from there although preferably you want to keep this plugged in when you're using it just so you know it doesn't run out of battery or fall asleep or anything like that but the fact is this has a battery built into it and it can charge and withstand that charge so you can utilize it so I've utilized this for several different things, like when I want to watch 3D movies, or if I want to watch like some YouTube videos that have 3D effects in it so that, you know, you can get that immersion. And I've also tried it with a lot of video games. And that has been absolutely fantastic. So I've tried this with games like Ghost Runner. It's like a first person platformer with like some hints of action here and there. And the because it's such a fast paced game, playing it on this screen with the 3D effect turned on is so immersive. Like as I'm playing this, I'm having to like look away to be like, yo, am I in the game or not? Because it like everything pops like you, you literally feel like you can reach out and touch it. Like that's how immersive this capability of this monitor is. Now I've also played this with Doom Eternal, which is absolutely breathtaking. Like it's so crazy how like everything just comes to life. And I'm doing 4K 60 Hertz with 3D. Like, can you imagine how crazy that is? And not only am I playing Doom Eternal, I'm also playing God of War 2018, the PC version with the 3D effect as well. And I'm also playing games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and as well as like Darksiders Genesis, which really pop. But the most amazing one of all was playing Ukulele. Like that right there, that game looks so amazing with the 3D effect turned on. Just because like the way the colors pop and like when things happen, they just pop out of the screen at you and like, it, it's such an experience. And I, I'm gonna, I know I'm saying it's such an experience a lot because it really is. Like you really have to experience yourself to understand what I'm talking about because 
it's really something else. Like I had my wife Leila actually try this and it blew her away because she's like, whoa, like I, I wasn't expecting it. I, I just told her like, come into the room and then like check this out. And then she did and she's like, whoa, this is absolutely amazing. So let me play that for you right there so you can see like her experience. Uh, after using the spatial 3D effect on that monitor, how would you say your experience was? It definitely amplified the experience, especially with the platformer game. That was really fun. It really felt like there is adding depth and I can literally put my hand through the screen and enter into that world. It kind of actually made me forget there is a screen there. Mm -hmm. Like that's how realistic it was. It was different for the first player one because it is in my perspective. And the only parts where it kind of threw me off is whenever the arm of my character and its weapon was like right in front of my face. I was like, whoa, don't hit me. <laughs> Everything else, because the game was so fast, I didn't really, it didn't really register that it was in 3D. So other things I like about this thing is not only is this easily like probable because it has like this kickstand that goes and you know it's pretty sturdy it's not like a cheap or flimsy kickstand it kind of reminds me of the surface pro laptops where you can like prop it up with the kickstand and it's a very sturdy kickstand like i it's not in any way cheap the build quality of this whole thing is just so amazing it's literally brushed aluminum all the way around this thing so it's absolutely amazing i'm not gonna do like a drop test or anything like that because this is not mine. I'm going to have to send this back when I'm done anyway. Now going further into like the 3D effects. So there are two cameras up here and I know I probably should let in with this, but hey, it is what it is. And basically they track your eyes, like literally wherever you're sitting. So if you're sitting directly in front of it, off to the side, it's going to track your eyes so it can make sure it's projecting the 3D straight to you. And it's like not giving you eye strain or anything like that. So honestly, the closest approximation to this is going to be the Nintendo 3DS and more so the new Nintendo 3DS versus the original because a new Nintendo 3DS had better 3D tracking capability. And this is that full on. Like this is what happens if you were to take that technology and just take it to the next level. And it's that freaking good like that's how good this is and the way the snail thing is built yeah it does have a bit of a chin here for the bezel but it's perfectly fine like I, I don't like care about it having a thinner bezel I think this is beautiful as it is I wish I could keep it at me Acer if you want to let me keep this I'm completely fine with that but like you know if I'm on the go traveling like I do go to different places I do some traveling for business I would definitely want to have a monitor like this to take with me. It doesn't weigh too much. Like literally this is probably like, I want to say three pounds, maybe two pounds at most because all the weight is literally here where the battery is. Everything else is lightweight. Like you're not going to like get arm fatigue holding this unless you don't lift. Or maybe if you, even if you don't lift, you're not going to get arm fatigue. But as far as things I think could be better with this. I honestly think it should have had a VESA mount to it and I understand why it doesn't have it is because this is like a thin frame but in comparison this has VESA mounting and this is a thin monitor albeit this is not as good as this one it does have VESA mounting on the back but there are some differences between these two monitors this is not 4k in any way shape or form this is 720p this is 4k 60 this is 720p um but yeah I would have liked to have had that's the mounting because what if I want to mount this? So anyways, with that being said, outside of VESA mounting, I think this is a very solid device. If you're in the market, you're looking for picking up a portable monitor and a portable monitor that not only has 4K and 4K60, but also has a 3D capability that you can use with your Steam library, as well as YouTube, your movies and other things. This is what I'm going to go with. And also like if you want to use this with consoles, your Steam Deck, your Nintendo Switch, your Xbox Series X and S, your PlayStation 5. This is what you're probably going to want to use. It's sleek, it's low profile, it's lightweight, and <laughs> as we saw earlier, it has a built-in battery. So there is that. But what do you guys think of this monitor? Is this something you think you would pick up 
Whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the comments going down in the comment section below. Outside of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel, ding the notification bell, that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. And uh, if you want to support, make sure you follow us on social media, links will be down below. And also consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon supporter for early and exclusive access, as well as input on upcoming content and early access to that content as well. And outside of that, pick up some merch on Teespring and Teepublic too. You know, hey, help a local boy out. All that being said, I catch you guys in the next one. Hope you stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you found this episode to be incredibly enjoyable, informative, or if there's anything you gain from it or any uh, insight or, you know, anything that's good that you really, really enjoy, make sure whatever platform you're listening to it on, or if you're watching it, leave a comment if that's available on the platform, like it, share it around with someone you think would enjoy it, and give us some feedback because your feedback is exactly what we need to keep this show going. And if you're wondering what are some ways that you could support the show, we got various ways. We've got Patreon. We have channel memberships over on YouTube, as well as Subscribe Star, Coffee, and so much more. Links for everything will be in the description. Check that out. And with all that being said, I hope you have an aloha rest of your day. Let them know that I'm next level. I'm a whole new kind of guy. Yeah. at the top spot in case you forgot we the ones that got the black hot bullet got the shot yeah